Whether you're a seasoned Amazon FBA seller or somebody that's just getting started with setting up an FBA business, you're going to need to make use of Amazon seller tools that are designed to help you maximize your business and your product selling performance as much as possible. Since I started selling on Amazon in 2018, I've seen hundreds of apps come and go, but the one name that has stuck around and consistently upped its game is Helium 10 a provider of a whole suite of Amazon selling tools that I've used pretty much every single day since I started my journey. In the time that I started looking for my product to today, five years later, Helium 10 has consistently launched more and more tools that help with product research, product discovery, keyword research, writing listings, and so much more. And all of these tools are incredibly useful but if you're not a frequent user of Helium 10, or you're just getting started with Amazon FBA, you're probably going to find it all very overwhelming and you're not going to appreciate just how much they can help you with your business. So in this video, I'm going to be running through and explaining how to use the Helium 10 tools that you simply cannot afford to miss out on. All of which you can try using a discount link that I will put in the description below this video. Helium 10's Chrome extension is the backbone of Helium 10 and it's the tool that you're going to need to use if you want to see how much money certain products are making on Amazon, analyze reviews, estimate profitability and so much more. To download it, just search for Helium 10 Chrome extension on Google, add it to Chrome and then head to any Amazon marketplace of your choice and search for a product that you want to sell or research further. Once your results have loaded, you can press the Helium 10 logo in the top right corner of the screen and there you'll see the tools that are available for you to use. X-Ray, that's the tool that you'll use to quickly assess how much demand there is for the product that you just searched for, the average price point that sellers are charging, how many reviews sellers typically have and the score that they achieve, the level of seasonality, as well as a whole host of other useful data. Now running the x-ray tool, that should be an everyday occurrence for you if you're searching for a product to sell because it provides you with a lot of the information needed to understand if the product is worth considering further, such as its sales demand and the level of competition. The X-Ray Keywords tool is next on the list and that gives you an insight into the phrases that customers are using when searching for the product that you've just looked up. And that is a helpful exercise to do when deciding what keywords to use when writing your listing or if you want clues on how to improve the products that you want to sell by offering additional features that customers are looking for. The Async Grabber offers a quick way to select competitors to run a search on with the Cerebro tool, and that is something that I'll explain a bit later on in the video. Helium 10's Chrome extension also offers tools that allow you to dig a little deeper into individual products rather than search result pages. So click into a listing of your choice and once you've done that, you'll notice a new chart loads below the main image. And that shows you the price of the product and the bestseller ranking over time, both of which are great at helping you understand price trends and seasonality throughout the year. You can also use this chart area to look at how many units the seller has left in stock, as well as to estimate how much profit they're likely making or you're likely to make if you sell the exact same product. Opening up the Helium 10 menu once you're on the product page also allows you to select the profit calculator and inventory level tool, as well as something called review insights. And that summarizes all of a product's reviews for you so that you can quickly see what customers like and dislike about a product that's being sold, which is essential for you to understand when you're determining if there is a selling opportunity within the niche. As you can see, the Chrome extension is packed full of helpful tools for Amazon sellers. So if you've never used it before, Go and install it now and whenever you look up a product to sell or even to buy, 
don't forget to run it so that you can get used to its features. Helium 10's black box is a tool that helps with Amazon FBA product research because it has the ability to show you thousands of product ideas that are currently selling really well on Amazon all at the click of a button. To access it, just log in to helium10.com and then press black box in the tools menu. You'll then be shown a series of filters that you want to apply when searching for a product idea, with the most popular ones being the products Amazon category, the average price points that it retails for, the number of reviews that it's received, and the amount of money that it's making on a monthly basis. In addition to these, you can also search by the number of images that a product listing has, which is quite a good indicator of whether there's room for improvement if the product has barely any. And you can also see things like shipping size, sales growth, and so much more. Now, when searching for products to sell with Blackbox, the secret is to play around and use different combinations of filters in order to increase your chances of seeing new ideas every single day that you've not seen before. Once you're done applying your search criteria, hit the search button and you'll quickly be shown lots of products for you to take a deeper look at. The majority of people that use this black box tool, they only use the product finder that I've just run through. But there's actually four other useful tabs within Blackbox that are all really helpful at helping you to find products. The Keywords tab is similar to the Product tab that I've just run through, but instead of showing you products according to the criteria that you set, it shows you customer search terms according to the criteria that you play with. This can be a real game changer when doing your product research because it has the potential to show you instances where plenty of customers are searching for a product with a very particular feature that isn't actually on Amazon yet. And spotting something like that means that you'll have a head start before everyone else has even discovered that product, allowing you to capture market share and plenty of profit. The competitors and niche tabs allow you to quickly view other sellers within any niche of your choosing, whilst the product targeting tab shows you all of the products that are frequently bought or viewed alongside the main product that you're researching. And that's really handy if you're looking for additional items to bundle with your main offer. So as you can see, Blackbox is incredibly powerful and so it's worth learning how to use properly in order to get the most out of it. If you're vaguely familiar with SEO or search engine optimization, you'll know the importance of using the right keywords when writing any piece of content. And that is exactly what Helium 10's Cerebro and Magnet tools allow you to do when you're putting together your Amazon FBA listing. Whilst keyword research is the main intended use of both of these tools, you can also use them to help you with your Amazon FBA product research because they'll show you what search terms customers are using when they're looking for a particular product and that can help you to understand if there's currently an unmet need relating to a particular product. Although Cerebro and Magnet both show you the search terms that Amazon customers are using to look at products that they want to buy, they do operate slightly different from each other. With Helium 10's Cerebro tool, you're able to look up all of the phrases that your possible competitors are appearing for in Amazon's search results. And that can give you clues around what particular keywords lead to the most sales, and so should be your main focus when writing your products listing and setting up your advertising campaigns. So to use it, select Cerebro from the drop-down menu on Helium 10, paste in up to five of your competitors' ASINs, which you can find in the product details section of every Amazon listing, and then press get keywords. The list that you're shown is likely to be huge with a lot of nonsense results, and you can easily reduce that list by changing match type to organic and competing products to three. And once you've done that, you can order the results that you're shown by the number of monthly searches, and you should have a solid list of keywords 
for you to include throughout your listing in order to improve your Amazon SEO as much as possible. Unlike Cerebro, Helium 10's magnet tool allows you to plug in a search term of your choosing, and that should be related to the Amazon FBA product that you want to sell. And once you've done that, you'll be shown every single related keyword that real life customers are using to look up that product. Just like Cerebro, this is helpful in allowing you to see the important keywords to be using when you're writing your listing. But unlike Cerebro, it can also give you clues as to how you can improve or differentiate your product because there may be occasions where you'll be shown a high volume keyword for a specific product that isn't actually available on Amazon. So when using Magnet and Cerebro, don't just rely on them for keyword research, also use them for product discovery as well. Helium 10's listing optimization tools are there to ensure that your product listing is compelling, makes sense, and uses the right keywords for SEO, all of which are hugely important when it comes to how much money your product is going to allow you to make. The first tool within the listing optimization category is Frankenstein, which despite the name is not that scary to use. In fact, it has a very straightforward purpose, which is to remove duplicates and single letter words from what may be a long list of keywords that you've just got when doing your keyword research. So to use it, just copy and paste the keywords that you have into the box on the left of the screen, apply your settings and then press process. See, not scary at all, is it? Once you've got your refined keywords list, you can move on to Helium 10's Listing Builder, which basically helps you to write a compelling Amazon listing that includes all of your research keywords. So you'll need to paste those into the Keyword Bank section on the left of the screen. Each time you use one of the keywords that you found when writing your listing, it will get crossed out so that you can focus on the next one to use. So it's a really efficient way of writing your listing. Once complete, you can review your listings quality score and make any suitable changes until you've got a mark out of 10 and you've got ticks next to all of the identified best practices. For an understanding of the quality that's needed to beat your competition, as well as things to write and mistakes to avoid, plug in your competitors' listings in the Listing Analyzer tool. When combined and used together, Helium 10's Listing Optimization Suite gives you the entire tool set needed to have a highly compelling Amazon product listing that converts, so they are not to be missed. So out of all of the tools and features that Helium 10 offers, those are the main ones to be concerned with if you are a beginner and just getting started with Amazon FBA. If you're more experienced and you already sell on Amazon, then there's even more Helium 10 toys for you to play with. Two tools that you definitely won't want to miss out on if you're an active seller are Refund Genie and Follow Up. Now and again, when you send stock into Amazon, they will lose some of the units and they won't bother telling you. If you're sending thousands of units at a time, like I often do, misplaced units can often go unnoticed. And that is where Refund Genie comes in. When you run it via the Helium 10 dashboard, it'll work its magic. It'll search all of your orders, all of the units that you've sent in, and then it will tell you how much you are owed by Amazon because of things like lost stock, customer returns that haven't actually been sent back in, or you just simply being overcharged. This tool alone, it has the potential to save thousands and it's well worth running once you get your Helium 10 account set up. So that's the first essential tool if you're an experienced seller. The second one is called Follow Up. And that is a system that auto emails your customers after they've placed an order on Amazon. And when it emails your customers, you can specify what it says. So you can include things like information about your brand, as well as a review request. Now, over the years, I have sent hundreds of thousands of these messages to customers. And because of that, I've received lots of nice replies, as well as confirmation of thousands of five-star reviews. So follow-up is something I would absolutely recommend that you set up once you start selling. Other features that I use to help ensure the smooth running of my Amazon business include 
Keyword Tracker, which allows you to record your product's search page position for any keyword that you specify. The Market Tracker, which is a tool that calculates your market share as well as your competitors' relative performance. And then Alerts, which emails you or sends you a notification on your phone whenever you get a new review, a change is made to your listing, or you lose the buy box or get a hijacker all essential things to know as an Amazon FBA seller. And finally, one really nice feature to have that will keep your motivation high is the valuation tool that basically gives you a very high level estimate of what your Amazon FBA business is likely to be worth. So those were pretty much all of the main Helium 10 tools explained, all of which are incredibly useful regardless of whether you're a veteran seller or you're just getting started with Amazon FBA. So if you've not had the chance to try out Helium 10 yet, there is a discount link in the description to give you the nudge to get you going. I hope that you've enjoyed my Helium 10 review. If you have any questions about Helium 10 or Amazon FBA in general, let me know in the comments or drop me an email and I will see you guys next time.